Hello, I'm Jacob Stefanko and I'm with Pepper and Fuchs Technical Support Team. Today I'm going to talk about our new PMI demo case and demonstrate the different types of PMI sensors. First we have one of our F10 series PMIs. Then we have the F90, F112, F166, and the F130. This demo case is equipped with three damping elements, one here, there, and there to show how the output changes on the sensor as the damping element is moved. We also have a smart bridge interface that connects to the PMIs via Bluetooth. This can be used to monitor and control iLink devices through our smart bridge mobile device app. For this demo case, the only PMI connected to the smart bridge is the F90. Finally, we have all of the PMIs connected to our HMI. We will use this to select the different PMIs and display their corresponding data. As you can see, the output, analog current or voltage output, is displayed on the HMI and changes as the damping element moves along the sensing face. Now I'm going to connect the F90 to our SmartBridge device using our SmartBridge mobile app. I'm going to select the specialist rule so that we can parameterize the sensor. Now I'm going to go into the IODD view tab and select parameter. Next I'm going to change the settings for switching signal channel 1. I'm going to keep 30 millimeters for set point 1, but I'm going to change set point 2 to 90 millimeters. I'm not going to change any other parameters. To make sure the sensor is given these new parameters, I must upload them to the sensor. After uploading the new parameters to the sensor, I'm going to go back to the graphical view tab. As you can see, the outputs are triggered when the damping element gets to 30 and 90 millimeters. PMIs can be used for several applications, such as controlling dancer systems and packaging machines, hydraulic cylinder control on a metal lathe, or providing foul position feedback in hazardous locations. So, that is our brand new PMI demo case. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a nice day.